Now, what if I told you that there is a way to pre-group certain units, such as a T-72M, together with a Shilka and a supply truck? Well, this is possible with the combat group system that a lot of people don't know about. So traditionally, the way you build your battle groups is by going through each of these tabs, filling it up with whichever units you want. And then when you're in a match, you click on each of these tabs and then spawn the unit that you want on the battlefield. But in a lot of situations, you sometimes forget to have a supply truck with your AA, or you sometimes forget to have, let's say, a manpad squad with your infantry. With the combat group system, you can pre-group certain units together, and this way you never forget to keep them together or spawn in certain units to complement your other units. A lot of people also play with a handful of battle groups. They don't really venture out into all of them. They are kind of familiar with like four or five of them, and they always employ the same strategies whenever they play with these battle groups, and that is perfectly fine. But for you out there, this might actually help you out quite a bit because in a lot of situations, you also have the same strategy every time. So what can you do with the combat groups? Well, you can have up to four companies that can have up to six platoons. So you can go down to the platoon level here. What we have here is our spear company. And what we have grouped up together is two of these T-72s for a total of 220 points, a command T-55 for 115 points, and we have a munitions truck or a supply truck with these guys to keep their smoke dispensers filled at all times. When, example, a helicopter comes in or a plane comes in to try to gun run these. Now we have another one that lacks a supply truck, but we also have some home defense squads that I like to call them or home defense platoons. That includes a Machutsen squad in a BMP, a manpad, and a really cheap T-55 for some additional firepower. Then we have another one that is basically a copy of it. And then we have our AA battery that comes with a supply truck. Isn't that wonderful? I will never forget my supply truck with my AA from now on. And then we have our recce force that is basically going to be used in the beginning of the game. Now later on in the game I might need some reinforcements with heavier tanks. So we have a heavy plate and a spearhead platoon here. So heavy plate is just a name I've uh, put in. Uh, two T-72M1s with a command T-72 and a supply truck. And then our spearhead is a couple of T-72M1s, four of them with a T-72M command and also two recon BMPs. Then we have an additional AA battery as reinforcements, two cubs, two shilkas and a munitions truck. We also have a fire support team here that includes conkers, a recon and munitions and so on. You can really just group up whichever units you want together and even airplanes. You can have, let's say, a quick reaction force that includes an MI-24, a recon heli and maybe a MI-8 with rockets. But you can also do that with airplanes. So let's say there is a lot of helicopters um, that are already just being spawned in. Uh, you can just click on Company 3 and then click on your uh, Quick React AA or something like that. And you can just click once and then spawn it in. And then these planes will already uh, you know, be spawned in. And sometimes you just click on the wrong plane and buy the wrong one, uh, which I'm definitely guilty of. So how does that work in practice? Let's go into the skirmish here. We're going to go on uh, Death Row because this map is definitely one of the more popular ones in uh, smaller game sizes. My win rate is definitely not enjoying me making these skirmish videos every time. <laughs> but uh, here we are. So instead of going through these tabs individually and all of a sudden forgetting certain units, um, you know, for example, we focus really hard on the left and the middle and we completely forget about putting units on the right side because I am definitely guilty of that. We have created the Spear Company. Now this will include my starting forces and I've actually grabbed a calculator and calculated the amount of points all of these units will need and that is exactly 1490 points. Um, right now Eugen does not have a system where it tells you how many... Well that's a grinder in the back. Eugen does not have a system that tells you how many points each of these platoons cost but uh, I hope they uh, definitely work with that very very soon. But this also gives me a little bit of a, uh, a calmer mind in the beginning of the game because I never forget units. Now on the left side, we want to, let's say, just defend uh, with some infantry. So we have our home defense platoon here. We're just going to spawn these guys here and we're going to fast move them. Actually, we can just give them individual orders as well by clicking tab, which I have detailed in one of my other tutorial videos. So and we're just going to send these guys um, to the front line here and we'll put our tank right there. Now that is the left side already taken care of. Now on the right side, we want to do something similar. Uh, we want to move the home defense B platoon to the right. We're going to spawn that in. 
we're gonna get our man pad to unload in this bush here. The Machutsen can move up a little bit more. And then we'll just move our tank into a defensive position here. Now then we have our left and right already secured. We want to have some heavy armor and some recon in the middle. So let's get our recce squads in here. Uh, you can just dissolve them. And we'll move one to this building here. And the other one we'll try to get into... Uh, uh, just put them in this bush. Play it nice and safe. So now our territorials, our tank force. We're going to get one on the left. Over here. Now this already includes a command as you can see as well. Two T-72s and a supply truck. And we're just going to fast move these guys uh, straight to... Let's see. Let's move them here first and then hold left shift. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just put them here. Let's just drive them straight up there. And we'll get our second territorial platoon to go to the middle. And uh, with these guys, we'll just try to hold up. Uh, we'll just try to hold in that forest, maybe? Yeah, let's just hold them out in the right side. But then we have 250 points left and we haven't bought our AA yet. No problem. We got two cubs already with a supply truck going towards the middle. So with this system... I haven't forgotten anything at all, because I already knew which units I want to buy in, you know, smaller games like this. I always like my T-72s, I always love my Cubs, I always want supplies with my AA, but also with my tanks to keep their smoke dispensers nicely filled up. I have man pads on the left, man pads on the right, and two big AA pieces in the middle, and we also pushed our recon forward as well. It's a really, really wonderful system that should make it a lot easier for a lot of people to... Uh, start up in a match a lot of people don't know where to put which units or which units to group together and this might just really be one of the best ways to learn the game but also you don't need to be stuck with this you can always go to the regular battle group system and uh, you know just supplement your forces after or if you don't want to use the group system in the beginning you know just do it the traditional way and then later on you can get some reinforcements uh, with this system so speaking of reinforcements, we have a shield company. So these are defensive forces that we want to, uh, um, you know, buff up our front line with. So for example, do we lack AA? We can just click on the AA battery and put it down on the map, just like that. And then these guys will spawn in and basically move to the destination I've just given them. But let's say we want to perform a breakthrough. We want to push hard on one of these flanks. I already know which units will complement each other nicely. So for example, we have two Machutsen teams, two T-72Ms, and a Recon BMP. Or we have a Spearhead, which will cost a lot more points, with four T-72s, a Command T-72, and two BMP Recons. Well, let's just go for the infantry that is supported with two T-72s, and we'll push them to the left side here. And that way, you also save a lot of clicks. You're like undecisive of which units to bring. You don't really know which uh, Panzer or Machutsen you want. Um, you might then forget about recon, you might forget about supplies. But as I said, if you want to just uh, reinforce certain units with specific units, like a supply truck, you can go get that. And uh, that, you know, it's, it's just a wonderful little system that I think a lot of people are definitely uh, unaware of. But a lot of people are also kind of ignoring it. And um, it's really, really interesting to see this kind of system. And I didn't really even know about this until like two weeks ago. So we've already built up the same kind of uh, idea with the third armored, uh, which will which will probably seem a little bit more familiar. So we have an AA platoon here with chaparrals, pvads, and a big old supply truck. We have an uh, armored spearhead here with two M1A1s, a command and a Bradley, a fire support, which is a wonderful little group you can put together with 50 cals, a tow two, and a supply truck. And uh, we have our artillery platoon here with M109s and a hemet truck. And then we also have a recce force that includes, let's say, a Bradley two M1A1s, and let's add a sniper team there. It's just a really interesting way that you can now also not just build up your battle groups, but also personalize them with your predetermined strategies that you like to employ, or just, you know, just to create groups to reinforce your forces um, after you've already deployed uh, your uh, deployment units, basically, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I think uh, this might help out a lot of you. So uh, let me know down in the comment section if you didn't know about this. And uh, if you did know about this, let me know if you have used this recently in a match and how it actually, if it actually helped you out um, in any way, shape or form. That said, I hope to see you guys back in the next one. Take care.